Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet when we might see the next trailer for the Generation 9 games. Also some more leak updates about the Gym Leaders Elite 4, all that stuff to go over today. So if you're excited for the video, drop a like down below, leave a comment and let's get into it. So starting things off, when might we see the next trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet? Felt like we were definitely going to get something this week, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Um, well, at least to the point I'm recording this video, we haven't heard anything. Um, but this is a really cool uh, kind of image made by Blaze Incineroar, showing when we got information about Pokemon Sword and Shield and Pokemon Legends Arceus, and kind of um, tying that in with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So they say this is every time they put out a trailer for a mainline Pokemon game since Generation 8. The yellow ones are all related to a teaser Pokemon. Could anyone find a pattern? So as you can see, month one, uh, which was marketing when it started with the second trailer for Sword and Shield, we got it on June the 5th, which was a Wednesday. Um, but of course, on the Scarlet and Violet second trailer, it, it appeared on the 1st, which was a Wednesday, the 1st of June. And then um, we didn't get, obviously get anything for Pokemon Legends Arceus until, until August because of like... I mean, to be fair, the whole Pokemon Legends Arceus and Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl kind of promotional cycle was just really weird because they obviously had a new game coming out in november which is what we're used to but then they had another game coming out in january which we obviously was never used to um but anyway going into july we got our third trailer um on the the i think that's the seventh is that no it's the eighth the eighth of july sorry it's really really small so we got it on the eighth of july um which was of course on a monday um, so potentially what that means is we could be getting a new trailer um, next Monday, uh, which is obviously on the uh, the 11th. So I, th I think if we ha well, obviously haven't got anything this week, then I think next week is like for certain because as you can see, like it's going to follow a very similar pattern to like when we got trailers and stuff for Sword and Shield. And as you can see, July, we got it pretty early on. So I think... You know, if we haven't had anything this week, obviously we haven't had anything by the time I'm recording this, but if we do have anything, um, if we don't have anything this week, then next week, it, like, it has to be for sure. Um, and, and again, I'm not going to go over the Legends Arceus stuff until we get to like the September and everything months. So that's just July. And then for months three, for August, we got two pieces of information for Pokemon Sword and Shield very early on and then kind of like in the middle as well so again august looks like it's going to be a big month for pokemon scarlet and violet and as well as that as we already know uh, we are going to get that whole kind of conference thing for pokemon scarlet and violet where they're talking about the models and stuff um, we know that's going to definitely happen we've already heard about that we don't know if we're going to get like new gameplay and new images shown in that presentation but we know that August is going to be a big month because of that. So I can definitely expect to see more things for the Generation 9 games in August. So probably going to get one more trailer in July uh, and then probably a couple big things in August for the Generation 9 games. Um, because you got to think when August hits, you know, we're only three months away from the games actually coming out. Um, and of course, in August for Pokemon Legends Arceus, we got something on the 18th. Um, so again, it looks like we're going to be getting something every single month. Um, but it's just which days. So yeah, August could definitely be a big month. Um, but July should be like next week for sure. If we haven't had anything this week. Uh, anyway, going into month four, which is September, we got quite a few things for Pokemon Sword and Shield. So we got a trailer. And then as well as that, we got um, these two yellow circles here, which of course, as we know, are teasers for Pokemon. So that was the whole Surfetch situation. So what we got for that was obviously on the Pokemon website. It was the Surfetched in like um, kind of, 8-bit form like in pixelated and it was also turned to the side you might not remember it but i never remember it clear as hell and it was literally just like everybody trying to just speculate what this new pokemon could be and then obviously the week after we got the the surfetch reveal and i really hope they do that again i'm pretty sure they will because we got something very similar to that in october for the whole hisuian zoro and zorok situation first ever normal ghost type we got the camera uh guy kind of like I guess moving through the snow it was like very very bad it was like it was filming on a toaster and then it was just like you know what's that and then like the Pokemon kind of killed him or something and then we got more like a more clearer version of that a couple days later and then a couple days later after that we got the reveal of Hisuian Zoro and Hisuian Zorog so they obviously like doing these teasers for certain Pokemon you know we got it for Zora and Zorok we got it for Surfetch we got it for Galarian Ponytail with the whole Glimwood Tangle thing we got it for the Voltorb as well um, we got a bunch of different ones I would love another Glimwood Tangle thing I know it took 24 hours to reveal one Pokemon but it was just I don't know it was just cool and exciting and stuff and I really really enjoyed it uh, I didn't watch all of it obviously I think we streamed like a solid 12 hours of it um, but I would like another one of those if they actually dropped 
um, more Pokemon than, ju than just one, you know. But anyway, September looks like a big month for, for news, so we could expect a couple things in September. And then, of course, October, another big month. Again, the month before the games come out, um, so I could definitely expect big things in October. And again, in October for... Um, Legends Arcus, we've got quite a few things as well with new Pokemon revealed and everything. So, yeah, fingers crossed. And then, obviously, in the release month in November, we get a bunch of trailers anyway, but it doesn't matter because the game's out. So, that's kind of the, the release schedule so far for, for like the, the previous games and stuff. So, massive shout out to Blaze and Cinero. Um, but yeah, July next week seems to be when we're going to be getting something. Um, but again, unless it's already come out. I mean, it still stands because obviously, you know, we, we can still like talk about August and everything, but either way, should be a very a trailer very, very soon. Anyway, Blazing Cinderella goes on to say, um, also I read on a 4chan post that said Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet, same trailer release dates. June the first week, Wednesday was the, the same for both Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet. So maybe the third trailer is on the second week, Monday. Um, so again, that's just from a 4chan post, but that would mean that next Monday would be get would, when we'd be getting the next trailer. And then we have Pocozo saying Sword and Shield 14 trailers, 28.6% on a Monday, 28.6% on a Wednesday, and 28.6% on a Friday, and then 7% on Thursdays and Sundays. Pokemon Legends Arceus, we've got eight trailers um, with 37.5% on a Tuesday and a Wednesday, 12.5% on a Thursday and a Friday. And then Scarlet and Violet, two trailers, have been on a Sunday and a Wednesday. So, yeah. I, again, these are just kind of the percentages of when we'd see, like, new trailers and stuff. And then high probability, I'd say next Wednesday. So, next week seems very, very likely. I know I said that for this week as well. A lot of things were pointing towards this week, but... If we haven't had a trailer yet this week, then next week it's, it seems very, very certain. Anyway, that felt like a lot to get through. But another massive shout out to Blazing Cinderella for creating this. Um, so yeah, that's that part of the video. The next thing I'm going to be going over is this thread here by Soul Soul Rot talking about past and future forms. Um, so here he's saying, I realize I haven't given my thoughts on past and future forms in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And this concept below is genius. Of course, this actually being uh, in the games feels like it would be too uh, convoluted. However, now that we know there will be many multiple features going on, I can totally see uh, something like this happening. So, yeah, we know that there's going to be a bunch of features happening because Riddler Koo said, you know, there's going to be like a couple of gimmicks. There's, it basically just ca like came out his last Riddle said like there was just a bunch of new like... I don't know if you want to call them features or gimmicks or whatever, but he basically said, you know, because it's an open world game, they need a lot of things going on. Um, so one gimmick is probably going to be this thing. This art is incredible, by the way. Um, so shout out to uh, who, who actually created this? Um, L, L. Estiva. Um, but yeah, this art is mad. Um, but yeah, so that could be like one gimmick with the crystal, which could be like a proto manky and a proto primate and stuff, which looks really, really cool. Um, but again, that could be one thing. And another thing could be uh, the thing that's like mega evolution. The other thing after that could be like boss battles and stuff. There could be like a bunch of different things. Anyway, it goes on to say, obviously fan art and fan concepts won't ever be 100% correct, but if something like this exists, I think as a community, we've gotten really close. Plus, this is a good excuse for me to tell you to go and check out all the amazing art and the art of all the other artists we ran with this idea and made their own past and future mons. Maybe to make it less complicated, these mons could be version exclusives that we will have to trade. Obviously, the futuristic mons with Maraidon and the ancient myth mons with Koraidon. I feel like there will be a lot of version exclusives that kind of take that path. Because we know that obviously Koraiden and Maraiden are version exclusive, as well as the Professors. So there's clearly like a past theme in one game and then a future theme in another. So yeah, if we did have these past and future forms, future forms only being in uh, Violet and then past forms only being in Scarlet, definitely would be a really cool idea because, you know, obviously it would promote trading, but obviously trading is so much easier in today's society. Like back when I was a kid, you had to have a link cable and you had to have someone next to you with the game and stuff. Now you can literally trade with anyone around the world. So it obviously is a lot easier, but... Either way, I think that would be a really cool way to... I, I, I kind of want there to be like loads of different kind of things in both games because that means that, that you know, you're not buying the same game, you know, you, you kind of... Because a lot of people do get both games. I myself am one of those people. So I would like it if they had like a bunch of different things like, you know, version exclusive gym leaders uh, and Pokemon and stuff. Uh, and then it goes on to say, what more can I say? This past and future idea just makes too much sense and I would love for it to be real. Maybe this even relates to the new concept gimmick that Q has been hinting at. Let's see what happens and link me to your favorite past and future mons below. So yeah, past and future forms, I would love to see. Um, definitely down for it. But again, we'll have to see what happens. Uh, the next thing we're going to be go uh, going over is kind of all the gym leader stuff that... Um, Riddler Coup posted about earlier on this week. We did cover, but this is another massive breakdown of it. Um, so we have Soul Silver Art saying, I'm overwhelmed. Thanks, Q. If there's a trailer today, I'm dead. Obviously, there wasn't one. I actually have been going back and forth about covering this because I normally don't like to have any story or big detail elements spoiled, just new Pokemon. So proceed at your own risk. So obviously proceed at your own risk. 
Uh, it then goes on to say, spoilers, this confirms something I've already known. Ku confirms four new features in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. These were like the four features it was talking about about this. The main region gimmick, another battle gimmick, regional fakes, and then a racing system. Uh, more to it. This is on top of old regional forms, possible boss trials slash camp equivalent, 100 plus new mons, four player co-op, open world, and more. So these, game, these, games, these games are setting up to be absolutely bloody massive. And they should be, you know, Generation 9 is brand new gen. Uh, open world game as well like open world games they're supposed to be massive they're supposed to be immersive and i think if we have all of these things in here we, we can expect a really really good pokemon game um but you know you know even uh riddler q here saying you know you know an open world game needs to involve tons of new systems gimmicks concepts and other things or play what um so do you mind the official being riddlers themselves with trailer one and two so he even he's saying you know these these games this game needs to have like a bunch of different things because they're open world games uh he then goes on to say i've been saying it for months this is an open world game they've got to give us plenty to do still not sure what official teased memes mean Ku saying the trailers have teasers. As for the gym leader teased in po uh, promotional video one, I think it's the spiderweb, probably a bug type gym leader. So yeah, we, we've been over this quite a bit. We thought this was like a Pokemon, like a boss or something like that. But it could j just simply just be referring to uh, a gym leader. And we have Riddler Ku saying, oh, by the way, official trailer one also teased a female gym leader, though I never mentioned or teased her before. She is one of the best of Titan waifus, lol. Could you scout the other official uh, clue out of trailer one? And then uh, we have a little bit more as well. I'm now convinced PDY is the region name. He said he already told us. I thought it was a new character for character month, but he's only teased two so far, and this isn't one. Um, are his way, mood, culture, and vows. P A I U E O D A I E O U Y A I E O U. Highly like the region begins with a P, um, which again, we should get the region name in the next Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer. Um, but I mean, is I think it's going to have a little bit. The, interesting about it, the fact that we haven't got it yet i feel like it's going to have quite a big role to play and then spoilers uh gym leaders maybe i'll go in depth on them later there's a few theories but this below makes sense to me figuring out the types is next but i may just wait to see them officially revealed maybe there are 12 instead and some version exclusives like sword and shield more to come i really hope there are as i was just saying i really hope these games both have like a bunch of version exclusive things that you know mean that you're not playing the exact same game uh, when you are playing either pokemon scarlet or pokemon violet so yeah hopefully there are version exclusive gym leaders i can definitely see it being a thing we had it in sword and shield so i do hope it is in pokemon scarlet and violet and i hope that is just kind of the direction they take hopefully we can battle gyms in any order anyway because it's an open world game and they have said pokemon themselves have said you know you can basically um kind of journey as you want or whatever so yeah hopefully that does mean we can do different things at different times it would make the games a lot better in my opinion then goes on to say more on the gimmicks important this tweet does not mean three types of gimmicks the chinese character for type is specific um this 99 confirms the third type gimmick it's the first one listed here and it may be like dynamax everyone can use it all important npcs so yeah just to clarify something since in q's newer tweets he did mention there will be multiple new concepts or gimmicks in pokemon scarlet and violet some people are saying the three type gimmick is referring to three types of gimmick that is not the case of how q hinted q literally hinted this phrase in chinese to, spe uh, to specify it is three pokemon types if it's three types of gimmicks, we will use this uh, phrase as type in Chinese. This phrase is very specifically used as the term Pokemon types. So one of the new gimmick is definitely a three typing gimmick. Um, so that could be one of the gimmicks. So the, the, that gives you like three types or something. But of course, if that's just one of the gimmicks, we still have a bunch of other things that are going to be in these games like um, different features and stuff like that and then he also goes on to say this new system could be big but my guess is a racing mini game like in pokemon legends arcus but better again i would love to see that but being it co-op i want to see pokemon kart in these games and i feel like it could be you know if you are in co-op i think you should be able to go around and you know every now and again you can do like a race at like different spots or something i don't know maybe like the winner gets maybe there's like races every day or something and i mean it's not gonna happen but maybe they did like races at like every hour every day and like you race other people around the world around like different parts of the region and you get like items for winning and stuff would be insane because it would literally be pokemon kart in pokemon scarlet and violet it's not gonna happen but i would love to see that Anyway, he goes on to say, types made me instantly think of Pokemon types, and maybe that's involved, but I think we'll guess how many types is going to be here, because the legendaries have five forms, so there'll be five types of races. And again, that would be even cooler. It could be like, a bunch, like you just let's just say you log into like the game, and it's obviously open world, and if you're online, it would say like, you know, climbing race happening in like, 
30 minutes or it'll be like water race happening here in like 20 minutes or stuff like that and there's just a bunch of different races that pop up every now and again and you can race other people online or like race friends and stuff i want it to happen so bad it won't happen but i think that'd be so so cool but anyway that's gonna be everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please do consider hitting that like button down below let's try and hit 500 likes tell me your thoughts on when you think we're going to see another trailer for pokemon scarlet and violet again it looks like it's going to be the next week of july we'll have to wait and see uh, and of course what are your thoughts on future and past forms and also what are your thoughts on like the gym leaders and the races and everything like that there was a lot to go over so hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video nonetheless and if you are still watching thank you very much um but yeah if you did enjoy subscribe if you're brand new or ring the notification bell it's everything from me have a fantastic rest of your day until next time peace